Hello, kindergarten and first grade teachers. My name is Mrs. Frizzy from Powerful You, and the goal of this video is to teach you how to use Powerful You in your classroom. Before we begin, let's breathe and stretch. So come to the edge of your seat and press your feet down, roll your shoulders back, and just notice how you're feeling before we do this training. Are you feeling bored, tired, maybe burnout? Just notice what's going on in your body and how you are breathing right now. Now, I want you to breathe in through your nose and breathe out slow. Make your spine long on the inhale, shoulders back. Breathe out even slower. Now bring your hands above your head, breathe in, and cross one hand over to the opposite knee, and then bring that hand behind you. Breathe in, lengthen your spine, breathe out, and just twist and look behind you. Breathe in, lengthen, and twist your body. Now come back to the center, bring your hands up over your head, breathe in, Cross your other hand to the opposite knee and your other arm behind you. Breathe in long, tall spine. Breathe out and twist open. Breathe in and twist. Yeah, so come back to the center. Let's take one last breath with the breathing ball and I want you to visualize your lungs and fill up your lungs. Breathe in, breathe out slow. Awesome. So with Powerful You, you start every lesson by giving the objective, what they're going to learn. Sometimes we call it the intention of the lesson, the goal of the lesson, the object of the lesson, and those are clearly stated for you in the front of Powerful You. There are 26 easy to use lessons with a theme or a goal and a positive self-talk. Now, once you have set the objective and you've done some breathing and stretching, just like we did, you wanna get the educator card out. Now, Powerful You Primary comes in two different forms. It comes in the book form or the educator card form. They are exactly the same. I'm gonna to choose to use the educator card because the little kids love these cards. They love to see them and they love to feel them even more. As I do the lessons, I might start with A, but you can start and go in any sequence you want. So you read the story, and this is Attentive Allen. So I read the story to the children. It's on the back of the card. I have them say the positive self-talk, sitting up tall. The positive self-talk for Attentive Al is I am attentive. Have them say it out loud, say it in their head. There are some uh, practice, a practice section where you get some movement in with kindergarten and first grade and also a writing session section. So you can um, use this and each week add a new letter. Now the kids like to go in ABC order, but you can skip around like I said, and then put them up on the chalkboard. They love the ledge of the chalkboard to line them all up and they relate to these children and they often say, hey, that's my story. And they usually like the child that they are the most like, all right? For example, In Control Cal is a story about being, um, he had some anger issues. So the kids that have little anger issues, they always connect with the cow. So by the end of the year, you wanna be able to say A, I and they can say with you, I am attentive. attentive. B, B, I am brave. I am C, brave. I am in control. Good. So teach them the positive self-talk from A to Z, and you'll be surprised at how quickly they memorize this and they get away from the negative self-talk. Uh, Breathe and Stretch is another book. Actually, I, this can be part of um, your breathing and stretching before you do the story. And this book simply is fun for the kids. 
and I do have a training session on exactly how to use this book. Sometimes for kindergarten and first grade, this is all I'll use. And I'll go in if they seem active or agitated or you know they've been sitting all day. Sometimes um, getting them to move and breathe and have a little fun in the class will ignite their brain and make them ready to learn. So enjoy Powerful You and remember you are more powerful kindergarten and first grade teachers than you ever, ever know. Powerful You.